Hi guys, it's me again, long time no see. Uh, this is my second attempt at, that at this video and apologies for the poor lighting. So I haven't been around in a while, um, basically because I was in the middle of moving house. Um, that's a whole other story, don't get me started on that. I, I've now moved into a new place, at least temporarily, um, but compact is not the word for it. Um, so long story short, basically, all my broom gear, 90% of my broom gear is in storage, all my kegs, uh, I was going to say my gas, but that's actually in the next room. Um, uh, all my all grain broom gear, everything is gone. <clears throat> so all I kept was a couple of FVs and my Pico boiler. And I really have little to no room for doing that in here. So I had some beer and stuff in, in bottles bottled up. Um, but you know, that's kind of been dwindling down. Um, it's coming to the middle of November. And I said to myself, I wasn't going to bother brewing while I was here. Um, but I said, if I don't get something on soon for Christmas, I'm going to have nothing in the bottle for Christmas. So I've kind of decided while I'm here, I'm going back to bottling, basically. Going back to basics, what I started off with. I'm going back to kits, <clears throat> extra kits, and I'm going back to bottling. Because I don't have the facilities to do anything else. So I decided I want to get a stout on for Christmas. So between the jigs and the reels and looking at different kits, looking at full mash kits and full extract kits and maybe doing a partial steeping and extract. Um, what I actually settled on for my Christmas beer was this one. And I hope that comes up okay. That's the St. Peter's Cream Stout. Um, I ordered that last Monday from the Home Brew Company and it was here on Wednesday. And I ordered, uh, I ordered that, I ordered uh, a new bottling bucket. And with tap and airlock and all of that. So the St. Peter's Cream Stout kit is a 36 pint kit, which is 20.5 litres. And that came with two tins of extract. It's a three kilo kit, so two one and a half kilo tins of extract. It came with a sachet of hop powder, which is basically hop oil dissolved in maltodextrin, and that's Golding's hops. And it came with a packet of generic yeast, which was quite small, around a five, six gram mark. Um, it's no point me going into, you know how to do up a, a kit and kilo, or an extract kit, I should say. I keep calling it kit and kilo. So that's it there. Um, yeah, they're inside my bedroom at the moment. Apologies, it's the only place I have to keep it. That's it there, made up to 20.5 kilos, or 20.5 litres. Um, the OG on that was 10.50. Uh, which was about spot on. Um, and that's one thing, and there's two other kits here, which I'll get to in a minute. That's one thing. It didn't give an estimated OG so that on, on the box or in the instructions so, so that it would indicate whether you had it made up correctly to the correct dilution. And I really wish they would do that. I haven't done these type of kits in probably a couple of years. Um, and you know, it would have kind of helped. So as I said, 20 and a half liters, uh, that came out at 1050. So I ordered that St. Peter's one on Monday from the home road company and it arrived on Wednesday. And while I was waiting for it to be delivered on Wednesday, I said, right, I'm making that up for Christmas. I don't want to be tempted if my beer stocks dwindle down and start drinking my Christmas beer before Christmas arrives. So I ordered another two kits on the Wednesday, which arrived on Friday of last week. And what I ordered were these ones. They're Mangrove Jack's Car Craft Series uh, three kilo kits. That's the Great Rede Redeemer Old Ale. And that's Lord Finster Best Bitter. And as I said, they're both three kilo kits. Now they had them on offer in the home brew company. I'll put links to everything down below. They were only like... 16 17 euros and i think they're normally 20 something well within days just that they got a good deal from the supplier i wanted to get in and get one of each 
before the offer was gone. And as I said, that's the bottom bucket that I ordered as well with the St. Peter's. So they're both 23 litre brews. Uh, they're both three kilos. But they also both require the addition of dextrose, which I found a little bit weird. Weird in the sense that, from what I remember, three kilos and upwards don't, doesn't require any dextrose addition. How's ever? So that's the Lord show you this lord finster and that's uh, basically that's a an old ale great redeemer old ale uh, predicted abv is 5.5 you get two laminate pouches of extract um you get a 50 gram packet of hops which is to be added after five days primary fermentation and the hops in the old ale one are bodicea and you know the rest and the yeast that comes with the great redeemer's old ale it's Mangrove Jack's Dark Alias, which I have used before and I find quite good. <clears throat> the Lord Finster, so that's an old ale. The Lord Finster is the best bitter. Same thing, two laminate pouches of extract. Another 50 gram uh, sachet of hops to be added after five days primary. And the Lord Finster hops are Target and Summit, which I've never actually used before. Um, so I don't know what that's going to be like. So the predicted ABV on the old ale is 5.5 and the predicted ABV on the best bitter is 4.8. So not a heck of a lot of difference. The old ale required the addition of 500 grams of dextrose. Um, I still can't get my head around that. I wouldn't have thought any dextrose would have been needed. And the best bitter, Lord Finster, required 500 grams. But because I had two, two separate one kilo bags of dextrose, I just threw a kilo into each. I said, what's the point in holding back 500 grams? It's not going to make a heck of a difference. So the St. Peter's Cream Stout came out at 1050. The Great Redeemer Old Ale, uh, 1050 OG. The Great Redeemer Old Ale came out at 1052 OG. And the Lord Finster Best Bitter came out at 1050 OG. So the two mangrove jacks are 23 litres. And as I said, the St. Peter's is 20.5. And that's about it. And best bitter, Lord Fister, best bitter is in the bottom bucket simply because I've nothing else to put it into. And I got the mad notion to do all three. I had all three done within about an hour or a little over an hour of each other. I have to say the St. Peter's was easier to do because it was easier to work with the tins. I do find the laminate pouch is slightly awkward in the sense that when you go to rinse them out or to try and get all the extract out of them, can be a little bit awkward, I found. As I said, I haven't done kits in quite a while. The only issue I have had, and I hope I'm not after making a huge mistake, is I pitched all three a little on the warm side, up around 25C. I'm not too concerned with the mangrove jacks because I know, like the Coopers, they could take slightly higher temperatures, and they actually kind of recommend it. Um... Basically, there's too much chlorine in my water here, so I had to boil enough the previous day and leave it cool overnight. That would do the three batches. Unfortunately, I made all the three batches up, but I never checked the temperature of the water I boiled the previous day, and it must have been slightly too warm. That, in combination with the boiling water to dissolve the extract, meant that all three batches were around the 25C when I was pitching. However, it's less than twenty, less than 12 hours later when I got up this morning, I checked the temperature of all three of them and all three of them were down at 17 degrees, 17 and a half degrees in less than 12 hours. So maybe I got away with it, if you could let me know. Um, I know 25 is a lot higher than what most of us would normally pitch, but I'm hoping the fact that I got it to drop so fast, um, it is quite cold here at the moment. The reason I bring that up is the Great Redeemer Old deal, as you can probably see, is bubbling away like Dario. And that took that was bubbling away within a couple of hours of doing it yesterday. The St. Peter's Cream Stout has, I don't know if you can see that, has some slight activity, but there's no, on the surface, but there's no activity coming up through the airlock yet. And then the Lord Finster Best Bitter, there doesn't seem to be any activity at all in it. Um, 
No, I haven't popped the lids on all of them. Um, because I don't feel there's any point. <clears throat> um, am I after doing damage? Uh, by pitching at 25, even though it dropped down to the normal 17 in less than 12 hours? Did I get away with it? Is, that, is it okay to do that? I haven't done kits in ages, but I remember. And it's completely gone out of my head what I was going to say next. Um, oh, yeah. And... I notice with, with the all grain batches I do that I can get quite a long lag time before the yeast kicks in. Is that the same with kits? Does, like what's, with something like a fairly decent yeast like the Mangrove Jacks, what's the expected lag time before you start seeing activity? And that's about it guys. I hope you've all been keeping well. Um, yeah, as I said, the two Mangrove Jacks, I have to put the hops into both of them in five days time St. Peter's I can just leave that leave that ferment away out um, and that's about it and now I have to try and get a shit ton of bottles out of somewhere <laughs> okay guys look I'll keep you updated I'll put links to all three kits down below um, if any of you have done any of them before let me know uh, what did you think of them and uh, that's about it and I'll catch you next time it's longer for all <laughs>